Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we're continuing on with the 2015 AP Physics 1 exam uh, for your response questions and we're looking at question number four here. So two identical spheres are released from time t equals zero at the same height as shown above. Sphere A has no initial velocity and falls straight down. Sphere B is given an initial horizontal velocity of magnitude v naught and a horizontal distance before it reaches the ground. The sphere reaches the ground at the same time tf even though sphere B is more distance to cover before landing. Air resistance is negligible. Um, draw a free body diagram and labeling the forces exerted at time tf over 2. So it's still falling, tf over 2, and the only force on it is gravity. Nothing, oops. Same arrow. It's the same gravity, same mass, I think. Uh, identical spheres. So they have the same mass. Okay. On the axis below, sketch and label graph the horizontal component of velocity sphere A and sphere B is a function of time. Um, sphere A has no horizontal capacity, horizontal capacity, and sphere B has V naught. So this is sphere um, A. And then sphere B, there's no force in the x direction, so sphere B's velocity stays constant at v naught the entire time, till it hits the ground. In a clear, coherent paragraph length, response, explain why the spheres reach the ground at the same time, even though they travel different distances. Include your references to your answers in part A and B. Um, um, the vertical distance. traveled is the same. For both A and B. See both both spheres are, are falling at the same are, are, the vertical velocity is zero when it starts out and they both have a force downward that directs their vertical velocity um, towards so um, the same for both A and B they start with the same vertical velocity, namely zero. So it takes the same amount of, of time to travel in the vertical direction. The horizontal velocity simply the B travels further because it has um, horizontal ve velocity, but it's ver it's horizontal. I'm not going to write the rest of it. It's horizontal displacement doesn't affect when it hits the ground, right? I can move here, 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 as long as I, that's parallel to the surface. So that's pretty much that one. Wow, that was it. Okay. That was a really weird question. MG, MG. Okay. B, A. I, I wrote V not up there. Uh, oh, wait. No, that's the next question. Indicating the difference in horizontal motion does not affect the vertical motion of the spheres. Indicating the both spheres start with the same vertical velocity. Indicating both spheres have the same vertical acceleration. Indicating falling the same height would take the same amount of time. No, incorrect. Okay. All right. So that's. That's that one. So, um, hope that made sense. I think that answer key on that one is pretty straightforward. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the final question in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So, uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.